In this first example, I'm going to select the first name, last name, city, and state of all the employees who live in Washington. Then I'm going to order the results by city in ascending order. So I'll go ahead and start my query by selecting my columns. So I'll type in select first name, comma last name, comma city, comma state province from my employees table. I'm going to filter where the state province equals Washington, WA here. Now to sort it, I'm going to type in order by, and I'm going to order it by city. Now this is going to again order it in ascending order because I didn't place anything after city. Let's go ahead and take a look at that first. I will click on run. And there we go. There are all my employees from the state of Washington and I can see that the city field is sorted in ascending order. Let's head back to SQL view. And I could have also sorted this in ascending order by after city typing in ASC for ascending. I'll go ahead and run that. And you'll see I get the exact same results. To sort this in descending order, I'll head back to SQL. And after city, I will type in DESC for descending. And when I run that, I have my same nine employees, but again, this time city is in descending order. So that worked. All right, let me go back to SQL to show you something else. And I'll get rid of my descending sort there and leave it as defaulted as ascending. And I just want to show you that besides putting in the name of the column that you want to sort by, you can also sort by the position of the column. So, for example, the above query could also be written, instead of order by city, it can be written as order by and then the number 3. And I chose the number 3 here not because city is the third column in the employees table. It's not. It's because it's the third column that I have here in my select statement. So let's see how that works. When I click on run, there we go. It's sorted in ascending order again by city. Perfect, that worked. All right, let me go ahead and head back to SQL and we'll do another example. So I'll go ahead and get rid of my last example. And this time, I want to select all of the customer IDs, which in this database looks like the company name. So I want to select all the customer IDs and the order date from the orders that were placed between June 1st of 2006 and June 15th of 2006. And I want to make sure that the most recent orders are at the top. And I'm going to use the orders table. So again, I want to select the customer ID and the order date fields from the orders table where, remember I'm filtering here, where the order date, and I'm looking for a range here, so I'll use my between and, where the order date is between June 1st, 2006, which is a date, so it needs to be surrounded by our hash marks, 6-1-2006, and 6-15. 2006. Okay, and again I want to order it by order date in descending order this time because I want the most recent orders to be at the top. So I'll type in order by order date descending. And we just learned that I could also type in order by two descending, right? I can use the column position there as well. But let me go ahead and test this just to make sure that it works. I'll hit run. 
And there we go. We should have Company F with an order date of 6-8-2006 at the top of the list and seven records. Perfect. All right, so I'll head on back to SQL and do another example for you guys. So next, I'm going to sort two columns and in the opposite order this time. And I'm going to use my customers table. So let me go ahead and get rid of my last example. And this time I want to display the company name, city, and state for my customers. And I want to sort it by state in ascending order and city in descending order. So I'll start with my select statement there. And I would like the company, the city, and the state, which is the state province field. I'm going to be bringing those in from my customers table. And I'm going to do two order buys here. I'm going to order first by the state in ascending order. So I don't necessarily need to type anything after this field. And the city in descending order. And again, if it's in descending order, you have to let the system definitely know descending. Okay, so select the company, city, and state from the customers. State will be in ascending order and city should be in descending order. Or again, I could have chosen order by three comma two descending. All right, let's take a look. There we go. So we have all of our states in ascending order with California at the top. And then we have the cities in descending order. And there should be 29 records all together. So that's how sorting works with order by. I'll head on back to SQL. Again, after your from, if you're not going to do a filter, or after your where, if you are filtering your information, that is where you would place order by. You put in the columns that you want to sort, and you can either type in ascending or descending. If you don't type anything in, again, the system is going to believe that you want to sort it in ascending order.